Good afternoon, everyone. This is Aaron Nye with One and One. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for the My Business Site webinar. We're going to be doing an advanced tutorial today. So if you joined us last month, you're going to have a pretty good start as to how you can set up the One and One My Business Site and how you can edit all the text and things like that. With this discussion today, we're going to be going a little bit more into the details of what you can do, some of the advanced features and the different packages that we have. Today, we're probably going to be doing a presentation for about 45 minutes or so. At the end of the presentation, we're going to be taking your questions and answers. Also, um, during the presentation, Jan Hulswit, the head of our customer advocate team, is going to be answering your questions in the chat box. So if you're new to GoToMeeting and the GoToWebinar platform, on the right side of your screen, you're going to see a little dashboard there. You can go ahead and type in your questions and we'll get to as many as we can. We might not be able to get to all of them, uh, but we'll definitely respond to you uh, within the next couple weeks or so. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the materials here. We are presenting your presenters. It's a very clever slide. I came up with that myself. Thank you. Uh, once again, my name is Aaron. I'm the customer relationship manager here at One on One Internet, and I'm joined today by Hillary Close. She's the product manager who handles the One on One My Business Site product. Hillary, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. So, um, this is a look at the agenda. What we're going to be talking about today. Once again, um, this is specifically for the one and one My Business Site product. So this is a product that one and one Internet has. If you're here for uh, general hosting packages, you're probably not going to get a lot out of this. Um, so this is specific to a product that one and one has. This isn't like your business site, your business's website. Right. This is our My Business Site product. product. So just to make that abundantly clear, we've had some questions on that in the past. Um, the features that we'll be talking about today that are available on the My Business site, we're going to be going over HTML widgets, what you can do with that, how you can add some content to your site, the image library, it's got a ton of photos and images that you can go through and how that's going to save you some money. The document viewer, how you can upload and let your um, customers or your viewers download documents, our industry news feeds to once again add more content, our calendar feature and the email marketing tool and one-on-one -on -one SEO ready service to optimize your website for the search engines. At the end, we'll talk a little bit about our site of the month opportunity and also we're going to do what's called the My Business Site Review. This has been very popular in the past where we'll go through and we'll take a look at your My Business Site. So if you are already a customer that has the My Business Site product, go ahead and put your URL, your web address into the question box or the chat box Jan will receive that and we'll go ahead afterwards and take a look at some of them, give you some feedback. If you've done some really cool stuff, then you know, we can take a look at that as a case study for some other people to uh, learn from. And of course, we'll take your questions and answers. But before we get started, we're going to do a quick poll here. And we're going to be doing a couple of these throughout the presentation. You'll see in a couple seconds here, a question will come up on your screen and you can actually interact with that. We just want to know how many people out there currently have the My Business Site product. So if you could, just let us know. Got a couple people coming in here. It really helps us uh, kind of gauge what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. You it's know. good to know who we're talking to. <laughs> yeah, and this uh, really lets us know, you know, if we should be talking a little bit more about the product or a little bit more of a tutorial. So we're going to, coming up to the end here, looks like we've got pretty much everybody answered. We're going to close that out. And you can see the results here. This is fairly typical. Uh, looks like most of you currently do not have a one-on-one -on -one My Business Site package. That's fine. You're going to get a lot out of this presentation. You're going to learn a lot about what it can do and, and, and how it can work for your company and for your website. And everyone that currently has it is going to learn a lot because you're going to you know, figure out those things, but then also get a specific tutorial of how you can do those things so you feel a little bit more comfortable whenever you're walking through yeah. uh, the uh, uh, features. So, Let's go ahead and we will get started on the presentation here. Uh, just to back up a step, Hillary, I, I pulled up the my business site page here. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about um, uh, the my business site product? I mean, basically, this is a website in a box, right? Right, exactly. And 
we really designed this product so that people that don't have a lot of technical know-how, uh, people that don't know how to write code, mm -hmm. they can, you know, buy this product and in a few quick and simple steps be up and running with it um, and have a website that clearly shows what they're about. Yeah, And yeah. it's really good. Um, you know, everyone needs a website. Absolutely. That's like the number one thing that you need to have nowadays. And most people don't, you know, it's it's very difficult to hire someone. Yeah. It takes a while, so. It's expensive, yeah. I mean, if you don't have the technical background, you're not really going to know exactly, you know, what product should I buy to design it? Right. Do I need a hosting package? What the heck is a hosting package? You know, mm -hmm. what's FTP? These are all, you know, questions that if you don't know how to answer, this is going to be a perfect product for you. It doesn't take a yes. lot of technical background. But also, what's really nice about it is it's not just a template. You'll see a lot of companies mm -hmm. that'll sell you what they call, you know, pre-built websites or, right. you know, website builders or whatever it might be. This has professionally written text that's industry specific. Right. So. And we have over 125 templates. Exactly. That are designed specifically for the business that you're involved in. Yeah. And it'll come. So you'll see when you when you when you purchase it that you can pick which business that you're in, mm -hmm. what type of industry. And then it'll pre-populate uh, your website with information that would be relevant for your type of business. So, for example, if you own a restaurant, then your website will have, it'll come with a menu, yep. a menu section, which every restaurant needs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I think it's, that's the most difficult thing. It's like when you're, uh, you know, when you're starting a term paper in college. Mm -hmm. It's always tough when you're looking at that empty sheet yeah. to just start writing something. Yeah. But if you already have something to work from, you've got an outline, you've got some, you know, the text isn't going to be perfect. Exactly. You're you're probably going to have to go in and make some edits to it, but that's okay. At least yeah. it's already there. You've got the basic layout. You can go in. You can change stuff, and we're going to show you how to change some things, add some features today. Really easy. Really straightforward to use. Um, you know, and those are just some of the benefits. Also, it's only nine ninety nine per month. Yeah, I mean that's great. You get a thirty day free it's a trial. Great buy. It's very. It's a great value. I I think the thirty day free trial is is huge. You can go in. You can. Uh, take a look at it, bounce around a little bit. If you don't like it, that's okay. Right. You know, money back, uh, money back guarantee. But we're pretty sure you'll like it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We're going we're gonna, to uh, bet on it. So, so really quick, we have uh, three packages available. We have a basic My Business site, um, which they all come with a domain, and you can choose from .com, .net, .org, .biz, or .info. Mm -hmm. They all have um, over 125 templates to choose from. And they all have unlimited web space, um, traffic, pages. That way you don't have to worry um, about, you know, Overages being cut off or something yeah, like that or yeah. having to pay extra money. Or, yeah. um, and they also come with the visitor counter and the guest book. Mm -hmm. um, the second package, the plus, comes with all of those basic features, but then we've added an image library, which was a huge request um, by lots of our customers because, um, you know, nowadays it's, it's, uh, you can get into a lot of trouble taking an image from another site. But yeah, we'll we'll yeah. talk more about that later. Uh -huh. um, it also comes with news feeds, event calendar, product catalog, and shop function, a really cool document viewer, which we'll show you how to use later on in the presentation, and also the email marketing tool. And that's for $19.99. The advanced package has all of those features, but we also include one-in-one -one SEO ready service. Uh -huh. And we'll talk a little more about that later in the presentation as well. Yeah, and what's nice is right now until the end of the year we've got a great deal going where you can get the plus and advanced packages for the cost of the basic package, yes. which is really nice. So you're going to get all those added features for $9.99. For $9.99 and you're going to get that for, for the first, first three, three months. months. Yeah. Right. Great. It's a great deal right now. So that's pretty much our that's pretty much our sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> now we're moving on to the important things. Exactly. What we're going to do, like I said before, we're going to go through some of these features. Hopefully, we'll have time to cover all of them. Um, you know, if you if you have any questions along the way, please again uh, ask them in the questions box. There, we'll have Jan answering them, and uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the webinar, we'll go through your questions and, and answer those also. So, you take a look at how you're going to log in to the um, uh, control panel. I mean, normally uh, when you have like a hosting package, you've got to go through the control panel, which is okay, but sometimes it might be a little bit clunky. And, and we, have, we have the same functionality here, but we also added um, a login at your website. That's so you can just go to your domain, you can go to your URL, and you can log in directly there. As you can see, if, you, if, if you've attended some of our webinars before, we have a fictitious business here that we made up, uh, Mr. Wiggles Pet Grooming. 
and uh, it's it's basically this is the I think the pet grooming um, template, yeah. which is crazy that we have a entire pet template. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's a big industry in the U.S. So take a look here. You you would scroll down to the bottom of the page, and what I'm going to do is log out. I'm already logged in, but if you just went to MrWigglesPetGrooming.com, you can see here um, all the all the content is right here and you would simply scroll down to the bottom and click the login button. Go and put in your password. Click the login box, and that's it. You're going to be in, you're going to be ready to go, you're going to be ready to edit your website. Everything is going to be right there, and what's really nice is everything's done in real time. It's not like you're going to have to wait you know, a couple days to have these edits completed if you're going through a uh, uh, you know, an HTML designer or a website designer. And we've also got this really nice getting started menu here. So you go through and you can take a look at how you can work with all the different layouts, colors and fonts, title image, yeah. and it just gives you a really nice walkthrough. It's really great because it's very helpful. I mean, anything that you'd want to do, you can get the information on how to do it in that box. So. And this is this is most of the most of the basic stuff here. We're going to be talking a little bit more about some of the advanced features. So, uh, we have a quick poll again, just so that you can take a look at, and we want to get your feedback as far as what images or where are you getting images currently for your for your website. There's a lot of different sources. You can download them directly from the internet. You can do a Google image search. Uh, you know, if you happen to be looking for something specific, you can purchase them from an online image library like iStockphoto.com or you can take pictures yourself and then simply post them mm -hmm. uh, if you're you know, a, good, a good photographer and you're comfortable with your skills. Yeah. So looking here, it looks like we've got pretty much everybody has voted. We'll go ahead and close this poll out in just one more second. Catch a couple more people here. All right, we're going to close that out and share the results here. So it looks like about 15% of you guys download them directly from the Internet, 12% from a Google image search, uh, 11 purchase them, and then 61% actually take the pictures and then post them directly to their site. That's great. Uh, if you're taking pictures and posting them directly to your site, yeah. thumbs up, man. That is really great. That's fantastic. You're saving money, and you're also not breaking the law, which yes. leads us to our second point, <laughs> which is if you're downloading them from the Internet, or you're doing a Google image search and just downloading them, you know, they, those photos might be protected by certain rights of the person right. who owns that photo. Exactly. So you should always pay for them um, if you're downloading them from anywhere because you could get into some trouble for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, that's, that's something where the plus package really comes in handy because we have this, this image library uh, that, that comes with it. And you can you can see here this this image library it's one of our top requests mm -hmm. we're gonna have 5,000 uh, photos at least I think there's even more that are in there that you can yeah. pay a little bit extra for but 5,000 at least that are going to be included with your package mm -hmm. and you can do a full text search right yep you can do a full text search so anything that you're looking for you should find an image for um, anything that's relevant for your you know for your company and um, we'll show you right now actually how to use it so this is the um, editor here, the editing mode that we're in right now. And you can see here whenever I scroll over or highlight any of these parts, uh, this menu comes up that says either add new element, there's mm -hmm. an up and a down arrow, and then a trash can. You click add new element, that's going to bring up a menu, and you're going to be able to add some new feature, some new right. element right there uh, under the current element that you have. If you mm -hmm. want to move it up or down, you can, of course, click on those. And if you want to trash it, you just click on the box. So for this one, we're going to click Add New Element. And you can see all the different features that we have available here. These are some of the things you can do with text and images. And what we're looking at is adding an image, correct? Yes. So we're going to click on Add an Image. And then you can search, like we were talking about. Um, or you can upload an image from your files. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're going to do the search. So we're going to type in the search box. Um, let's type in dog, since we have a pet grooming business. That makes sense. Okay, We're going to look so for all the images um, that will have dog. So we'll type in dog. It'll do a quick search. And what it's going to do is it's going to run through. You can actually see here, 
Uh, she's got about 3,200 wow. results. Yeah, that's a lot. Not bad. Um, you can also see that there are some images that came up that <laughs> might not be exactly correct for us. What this does.